Welcome to this video in which we will learn how to make these LEDs blink according to the binary sequence as shown here. So we will code the Arduino to make this sequence. So let's begin. At first we would require this breadboard and we would require these four resistors. I have connected it like this and here you can see the bottom line this will be connected to the ground this one okay and on the upper side we will be connecting the LEDs and here we have the LED as we know LED has two legs one is bigger and one is smaller and we will definitely connect the smaller leg with the resistors like this okay the smaller leg of the LED will be connected with the resistors let me connect those LEDs. All right. So the smaller leg of the LED is connected with the resistor and the resistors will be, will definitely, uh, definitely will be connected with this black wire and will be connected to the Arduino's ground pin. So here I have connected this. Uh, all of these grounds are common. Okay. All of these grounds are common and this black wire will be connected with the Arduino's ground pin. So I am connecting this black jumper wire with the ground pin of the Arduino. All right. And now we would require four jumper wires. I am using four male to male jumper wires and I will connect with these four LEDs. And here we go. I have connected these jumper wires with four LEDs. Okay. And I am going to connect these with pin number two, three, four, and five of the Arduino. So let's connect it. All right. So I have connected these jumper wires with pin number two, three, four, and five of, of the Arduino. Okay. And now connect the Arduino with the laptop. And now this is the table for binary and decimal. So we will do this and at the bottom edge you can see this it, it's written p2 p3 p4 and p5 these are actually pin 2 pin 3 pin 4 and pin 5 so now let's code at first we will declare some global variables so let me write it here global variables this is actually a comment line okay so now I have to declare pin 2. This is actually an integer data type. Okay, so I have to declare the global variables. Pin 2 is equal to 2, pin 3 is equal to 3, and similarly pin 4 and pin 5. And just like this I have declared these variables and now I have to declare a time delay variable as well so we used to declare these global variables so that we can easily make changes in our code and now we are in void setup block here we have to declare pins as output pins so I would simply use pin mode here and I will declare pin 2 as output, pin 3 as output, pin 4 as output and pin 5 as output. And now we are in the void loop block. 
here we have to declare the sequence so we will use digital write for this purpose okay make sure to write w as capital here so let me declare some sequence pin number two comma and first let's declare as low make sure to write all of these characters as capital and now let's write all of the pins as low so i will copy this line and i will paste it four times and there is one more thing and that is to insert a time delay okay so after writing the pins i am writing here delay and i will use the global variable that I have used that is time delay and now we have written 0000, zero, zero, zero. and now I will copy this block and I will simply paste it here and I will simply change the pin number 5 this one and I will change it to high and similarly I will do it for all the pins you can see the table that is shown on your screen and you can see pin 2 pin 3 pin 4 pin 5 I am just writing lows and highs you can very easily do this okay so I am now speeding it up and here we have the sequence so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you